Good morning, folks in Grand Park. Uh, we got a special guest here for you. Uh, but, of course, uh, but first, a quick thanks to Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank, uh, one of our key sponsors. So big thanks to those guys. Right now, we've got Lisa, the marketing director of Grand Park. So Hi. what is Grand Park? Well, <laughs> we've got a lot going on. Um, we're an 1,800-acre uh, real estate development. You've um, got a very important location because yes. you are bridging. Yes the two towns that really kind of function around the ski resort. Here. Yes, we pretty much encompass all the land in between Fraser and Winter Park, which puts us in a great position. On the, what would you call that side? The west side? The south side? South, north south of, side of Winter yeah, Park. It wraps, so it's a little bit of everything, but yeah. <laughs> Winter Park. Um, yeah, no, we've got a lot of exciting things going on right now. We're super busy. Um, we have uh, four new product lines and three new neighborhoods starting, which is great for us. Uh, so we currently Product recently, lines, are we talking like Townhome versus standalone house versus condo, is that? Um, yeah, so we have a new duplex product that we're selling, a two-level and three-level duplex um, product. Our three-level duplexes are great. They have two living areas, kind of fit that need for um, a growing family, having two living areas, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Uh, great. Uh, location. They're on the open meadow, open space. Let's talk um, about that open space just so we can get a good feel for Grand Park. So we got Highway 40. There's this kind of beautiful meadow there. In the wintertime, you see a lot of cross-country skiing. Yep, we might see a dog a sled race. It's four miles yes. is the loop. Wow. Yeah, it's a great cross-country ski. We groom that um, as and well as some summer recreation. We stock the ponds. In and the then Grand Park is the road that sits on the other side of that. Yeah, that's Old Victory Road um, that kind of runs from one side of the meadow to the other um, along the Highway 40 there. So that's kind of the corridor um, to get down to our village. Um, and then around, kind of back around to Highway 40 through our Cousins Meadow neighborhood and past our New Willows neighborhood um, where those duplexes are located. And we also have some cottage product in there, uh, which is... When is... Uh, Grand Park started when? When did it kind of... The development start? Is it the last probably 10 years maybe? 2000 and... Mid-2000s. Yeah. So it's... Rel this is brand new. It's yes. in... We kind of... It started kind of towards the end of Murdoch's. Is that correct? Yeah, so we started with our Cousins Meadow mm -hmm. development um, and built some homes there right before the economy kind of took a little... Then we had a massive issue yes. there. Yeah. Uh, when it goes, this development was exploding yes. and then, whoosh, you know, like everything in town and in the yeah. county got cut off. Yeah, so... Um, and, cut, we, and these are custom homes? Yes, those were kind of more semi-custom homes. We kind of got ahead of ourselves and then we kind of paired back during that time the economy was in... A recession and we kind of reevaluated the product and the needs of what people wanted and really kind of made some floor plans that were conceptual floor plans of what people really wanted open living spaces main level masters things that the other houses didn't have great views of the meadow um, living out the back door essentially mm -hmm. um, and those floor plans took off and we actually just recently finished this previous summer sold out in cousins meadow neighborhood sold out cousins already because yes. i mean it is beautiful back in there yes. and Along with that, you guys have brought some incredible assets to our community going kind of towards the other end of Grand Park. Uh, we've got a rec center now, yep, which yeah. that didn't exist, I don't know, eight years ago we didn't have a rec center. Yeah, yeah no, the rec center has been great. This is to open the to the community. public. You don't yep. need to be a local or a member. You can just come and uh, go swimming, climb a rock wall, run the track, you know, Everything. Uh, yeah, they Pilates offer class, great spin classes. for children. Yeah, yeah so um, it's been a great benefit to some of our homeowners that obviously live here full time and just to being members of the community, but it's also been a great benefit to people that are up here on vacation and want to take their kids to do some alternative activities. And uh, so Grand Park donated that land for the rec center, is that correct? Yes, yeah, we did. Um, it was, yeah, it was part of us kind of giving back to the community, which we try to do um, in multiple ways through a lot of nonprofits, local nonprofits. Wow, okay, and then just down the street from the, that, we've also got a great new addition courtesy of Grand Park. Um, yes, yeah, uh, the movie, movie, out, movie theater and bowling alley, um, the Foundry, it's a great addition. Um, it's been really popular. Um, it's about as comfortable as the movie theaters I've ever been in. High back seats, you got a little tray, you can have your yes, pizza, drink yes. a beer, enjoy a movie. Yep, no, and those business game. models yeah. work, really work well, I think. Um, having um, a community that we do thrive a lot off of the tourist driven traffic, having businesses that kind of pair off of each other. So having the Bowling Alley Movie Theater as a paired business where they can use some of the staff 
to run the movie theater as well as the bowling alley. I think it's working really well for them. So you're not, I used to work in a movie theater, so we'd start the movie and sit there and eat popcorn and talk for two hours. What a waste of, you know, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, so they're doing great and um, yeah, we're really excited about that and I think it's a great staple for the end of our village project, which a lot of people don't know. We have two buildings planned in between. I don't want to cut you off, but let's, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll kind of touch into what, uh, what's coming up there. But uh, first, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, and talk more about new developments. Um, and once again, a big thanks to Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank located throughout the county. 